Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, everyone, so we do have Aries, Sun, uh, Moon and Rising, August 12th to August uh, 18th weekly tarot reading on our hands. And uh, give me just a couple of seconds here to shuffle the tarot cards and we are going to jump a right into it. Alright, so uh, <clears throat> the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Aries, this is to be the Tree of Cups, followed by the next card which represents the challenges that you will have to go through, that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. The third card here represents the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Two of Cups, and then... The last one, which represents the guidance that Tsaru is offering to you, we do have the Two of Wands. So, uh, what it looks like here is that you are to overcome rather, I would say, a difficult circumstances and a situation with a help and a counsel as well of a friend or of a beloved throughout this, uh, throughout this week. August 12th to uh, August 18th. Uh, the, the general challenges that we do have, it's really the very initiation of one's, um, uh, of one's endeavor. So let's say that you do have some sort of a, a, a good idea, all right, or some sort of a, a plan. And th these very first steps are rather be uh, quite difficult for you to do. For one or another reason, you know, you may not have the money, you may not have the ambition, you may not have the attitude and all these kind of stuff. But the thing is that this is where the friend or beloved comes in the picture and they pretty much eases your worries and as well kind of gives you the motivational speech or the motivational factor you need in order to leap forward into new con conquests and into new probably career endeavors or in generally a gaining for enterprises. So that being said, before we scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards down one more time. Three of Cups, it is the general um, topic of the week, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges here, which is the Nine of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is going to be the Two of Cups, which represents the positive aspect. And then the final one that we do have is going to be the Two of Wands, which stands for the guidance that Tower is offering to you. All right, so Three of Cups, well, it's a typical card where we do have either a cooperation, you know, shared vision, shared emotions as well. And also the card itself speaks very well for a... Um, very early progress into one's endeavor but as we do see three people into the card and in just the general uh topic of the card itself it does speaks that you will be much much more beneficial if you share either your good fortune or you allow yourself to take advantage of the willing of someone else to share their good fortune with you that being said guys three of cups it's very tightly related with how you interact with others like you know how you interact with your beloved how you interact with your friends as well and how willing you are to follow people's advice or people extended hand 
for laying you a help. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Pentacles formation. Instantly, we do have a passive friends. Now, when we do have passive friends, by the way, I'm working on these uh, these courses that I'm talking about that we are going to discuss the elemental dignities. But when we do have passive friends, we speak for longevity. Okay, so these two cards could speak for a, a longevity of a cooperation. They could speak as well for a, a longevity of a relationship. They could speak as well for a uh, you know, establishing a very long living, a private business. But what I do suspect here and what the energies are revolving around or kind of like if there is a, a certain chance of that to happen in your life, most likely is going to happen now that that could be a, a very first signs of engagement. And just to tell you, um, this could be your problem, all right? So you have a girlfriend or maybe you do have a boyfriend, it doesn't really matter, and you're really into each other and uh, you love each other so much, but the problem is how you are to initiate that conversation of engagement, how you are gonna make it and all these kind of stuff, and you are to receive help how to, you know, shared vision with your friends, may they vote you the way how you should do it, you know, or a, a simple hint from your beloved as well what they are expecting you to do and all these kind of stuff but the thing is that <clears throat> With these two uh, cards here, guys, you are definitely through a, uh, a faithful people around you are going to receive the opportunity to further your goal, whatever your goal is, with a lot of content, with a lot of, um, how can I place it, a sense of security as well. And not to mention that these cards are very favorable for you establishing a pretty big harmonious flow into your relationships and business and successful excuse me business endeavors uh the problem which is the challenges here we do have the nine of pentacles so nine of pentacles is a card of uh, of a singularity first of all meaning that uh, you may be uh, too harsh harsh excuse me to yourself additionally to that the nine of pentacles does represent this carefree um, approach toward the situation and the matter really so you may uh, misjudge the situation i mean what i what i'm trying to say here is that you may not take it as seriously as the situation demands to be taken on okay so uh, the challenging thing here is to uh, truly uh, accept the situation with uh, with its full gravity of responsibility and as well you know to address it appropriately unfortunately with the two of pentacles you may not be able to do it on your own but as we see you ain't gonna lack any support whatsoever the accompanied card here is going to be the strength so we do have a passive neutrals um another thing it is the uh cocky standpoint that you may have and you are aries after all i mean you do have a lot of belief into yourself but you know your belief into yourself is not under question here under question is what you can do or with what you can work with okay and it doesn't look like that the end of the goal or rather like you know the the thing that can happen as beautiful as it can can happen with the uh with the things that you can work with therefore you have to use a different means and these different means comes from the people around you so um that being said you know don't or well, I would say overestimate yourself, uh, yourself. So the next card, it is about the positive aspect and that is the Two of uh, Cups. So the Two of Cups, it, it's, uh, it's love, all right? It's a, it's a um, cooperation out of love, which could speak for relationships, especially for relationships, a, a co-worker type of relationships as well. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the Two of Cups doesn't necessarily mean that you are gonna fall in love, but it means that the cooperation is going to be lovely it's definitely going to be a thing that instead of putting on a pressure upon you it does relieve you from a pressure of course we're if you are talking about a relationships here so i am performing now this reading and you are questioning does my partner loves me all right well it most definitely does with um with the two of cups they may have a uh, rather how can i place it i in an awkward way to show it but with this card on a positive aspect if they somehow you know mistreated you probably 
without uh, this week they're gonna have some sort of a change of heart or something like this but the thing with the two of uh, cups as well is that everybody needs to do their part as you can see here in the picture we do have two people extending each other's hands all right so that being said because this is something i get into private readings a lot you know so let's say you push someone away and now you are wondering are they gonna reach out for you well you push them away so you have to do your part to allow them to uh, reach out to you all right can't expect that the other person is gonna chase you to the end of the earth all right so be, this this distance that it is in between you two has to be walked from each other all right but nonetheless the positive aspect here it is that uh, you both are gonna be willing or Everybody that it is involved into the enterprise is going to be willing to make this 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 transition, you know, and as well uh, the two of cups points that the the atmosphere at all into the endeavor itself is going to be lovely. It's going to be very calm, peaceful, and as well everybody will want to co contribute. Okay, everybody will want to con to to help to the other. So you are going to be helped from every single direction. Uh, the accompanied card here it is the Ace of Cups. So we do have a passive uh, supporters. And with the Ace of Cups, uh, you are going to be surprised of the results. It is simply what the card points to the Two of Cups. You may be very skeptical at the start that this, whatever you're trying to push through, you know, as we said with the first couple of cards, it's going to have an uh, extraordinary effect, but the effect is going to be even uh, more extraordinary on a, a bigger scale than you have uh, you, uh, initially uh, anticipated. It is just, you know, you need to have more belief into those around you that wants to to help you and the last card it is the two of uh, wands which is the guidance that Tara is offering to you Aries so the two of wands says that you shouldn't stop there all right this is just the initiation it is not the end therefore let's talk about if this is the example of engagement so you found the right words through your friends through your family through your co-workers it doesn't matter you found the the right circumstances to make a proposal okay so the proposal so the effect of the proposal i mean your partner it's just through they are just stunned petrified of how it just goes beyond their expectations, all right? They are very excited. Should you stop there? No, I mean, you have to continue on, impress them. It's not even impressing them, but making them even uh, more comfortable and more excited and more thrilled and all these kind of stuff because the two of, of ones shows how big potential that whole thing has, all right? And also, at the end, I want to say with the two of wands is that this card as well grants you power. I mean, the more you impress the situation, the more you allow mm, people to help you, and not just people to help you, but the more you press into the results of your, uh, of your efforts, the more domination you are going to obtain over the situation. And I don't mean it in a bad way, okay? And the last one here, it is the Ten of Cups. The formation is active enemies and with this uh, combination it is just a, a testament even amplifies the two of one's potential for the future i mean if you think that you're on the top of the basically what these cards are um, saying here it is that if you think that by um, accomplishing this goal of yours um, that you have so that you have been anxious about all right and that it surpasses your expectations by a large margin and you think that you're on the top of the world and it doesn't get any better than that wow you are you can't be more wrong than this guys it can get far better than that right so yeah it does look like as in an awesome week for you iris and i hope that you uh take advantage of every piece of happiness from it uh, so that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.